Okay. All right. So here we go. This is a call to embrace the night. This is a message of hope. If only in hope that by doing so, we may reveal the mysteries of daytime. Not a four-letter word, Nobel piece of bullshit. Thus <laughs> have I heard. We may drift through the work day. People dance to paper idols. School day. God judges our choices. That day. The market bleeds our dreams to dust. Yesterday. The earth resists our change. Pretty much any day. I drink my own blood every day and I know it. We haven't so much as lost our taste for it as we've lost what it tastes like. Our comforts attended to minds in a numb slumber. Syncopated and dusty-eyed. Not seen, ever looking. Bitter iron snakes slipping past our teeth in our sleep. Yet the chill of the still night air reminds us of our vitality. While the trees burn. And impermanence. Perhaps it is that we only see the sameness when all parts, previously discreet, are shrouded in a soft blanket drawn forth over wary sunlight. Light provides life, but we are known to separate ourselves from such animalistic tendencies, for we, the, the Earth, Earth Kings, King's light serves as servant in the facilitation of drawing lines. Lines, the shortest distance between two points, we cherish lines like we cherish the gold they dissect. Our most powerful invention, long preempted silhouette, scorched chalk outline, holocaust, these words we wield like paintbrushes, wrapping the wind around our tongues to love the world like scalpels, lines, lines like the brandings on our chests and feet that sing of other people's fortunes, like Jim Crow, the prophets of profit, like midwives, lines on the calendar tell us when we can and when we can't. These words we idly toss about like hand grenades to worship the explosion. Lines, Lines like those spelling over one billion served under the arches you pass on the road trip to Arizona, even though deep down you shudder to think that eventually, if, if we're, we're ever going, going to do what we say we're, we're trying, trying to do, if we ever get poked hard enough to move to a new position, we're probably not going to be able to drive 1,900 miles in seven days for a kick. I drink my own blood every day and I know it. And I've started to notice the blood on lips when I hear phrases like Save the world or Environmental stewardship. When I eat mangoes in California. The sweat of wage slavery glistening in orange. When I fill up my car with sand-covered bodies. The connected, the connected tissues have, have never, never been, been so, so tangible, tangible as, as now. now. The left side of our brain is the source of logic and sequence. It separates the parts of our world and objectifies them so we may sort through and separate. The right side supplies intuition and subjectivity, viewing life as holistic. Simply put, lines do not exist in this half of our mind. I like to picture my right brain sauntering barefoot through the low tide, feeling nothing but the salt water, sand, wind, and sunlight upon his skin, when out of nowhere my left brain runs up and asks it what time it is, over and over and over again. The earth is not our mother, just a five-letter linguistic sandman sprinkling dust on our eyes every day. God is not our father, and we are not his children, but some trinities ring true, and you can feel it in dusty monasteries when the monsoon breaks as your heart opens, language fails in the universe, and you vibrate in a chord that we are co-substantial pulsing capillaries of a marriage of metaphors. The market is the tooth fairy's pliers spilling blood to paint Santa Claus's coat. If we stop laying out out milk and cookies, those breaking and entering mother will burn in the fireplace. <laughs> if carbons were oxygens and oxygens were peaches, we would know no difference. These words, they are empty. A taste is sweet would still touch our tongue. We can shape them like clay to our whims. We could still open our lungs to the sunrise. Why not make something beautiful? And we would still be on the verge of global catastrophe. So back to blood. While I embrace the likelihood that I am wrong, I sometimes suspect the most dangerous lines are those we see in the mirror. For when the light reveals to us our reflected figure, our left brain immediately grabs a pair of scissors and cuts. Snip, snap. Like severed umbilical regret. Snip, snap. Flooding through the plains of Africa. The deep, penetrating blades glide along our torso and around our toes. Like veins drained to form razors and rain cycles. Until we are no longer in the picture. Returning to the dirt. We are left alone inside a fortress. Like that which we feel we are missing. At the top of the highest tower in a cell marked I. As if we could ever really be disconnected from any things so back to roots mirrors are not very useful at night stability is illusion neither are lines we don't, we don't need, need to keep, keep doing, doing things the way we have been, been. Why, why not make something beautiful why not find a semblance of god in every breath call every mountain of buddha because I, I don't have anything figured out, out but i'm tired of biting my lips every day to remember what blood tastes like Knock the wind out of me. Yeah. Wow. It's like a, uh, I would just.
going to wow. say the same thing. It's like a power punch. Yeah. Mm. yeah. Brilliant. Yeah. That's us. <laughs> 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 if you had gone to the graduation, it wouldn't have been a whole lot of fun. But it yeah. Would have been <laughs> wonderful. Yeah. 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 Did you guys try it out and they like uh, we just had audition? To so they didn't get to see it. They didn't get you to do it. That's a crazy. They probably don't understand. Like you should have a presentation. Oh, that yeah. would be great. <laughs> Come on, look what college is. My school would do. <laughs> you needed to submit a really should have been able to yeah, perform. Yeah, of course. Yeah, of yeah. course. Very nice. Yeah. Let's protest. Let's do it again. That's how it used to be. Let's go back over there. Yeah. <laughs>